Welcome back to the Positive Podcast. Glad you're tuning in. The host, Jeremy Todd, back and better than ever, baby. Dang, it feels good to be back, doesn't it? It's like that, uh, I don't know, it's like that, like maybe that f- favorite TV show, that, that favorite song, that favorite movie, whatever the case is, that, that friend of yours that you see that you're just so glad to see back. That's how I feel with you. I feel I'm, I'm back, baby. I feel so good. Life is good. Uh, again, Jeremy Todd, Positive Side Podcast. I'm looking at my downloads. Check this out. This is kind of cool. I haven't done an episode in a while, but please hold, please hold, please hold. We have 474,293 downloads of this episode. And it's all because of you. So mad love. If you haven't left those five-star reviews, run over to the iTunes. It allows other people to find the show. If you haven't listened to the show before, well, you know what? <laughs> just, just like bear with it for a little bit because it's so random and, and uh, so off the cuff and it's very authentic and very vulnerable. And I think that's what's made this show so positive or so popular uh, is because of the authenticity. I tell you about my life, what's going on, and then how I can relate to this maybe or how you can relate to this in your life. I'm also going to give you a couple of tips along the road, uh, along the, the, the line. So today we're going to go over five ways to how to keep a positive mindset. But I kind of want to give you an update. The last time we left, man, crazy. Went through the divorce. Divorce is final. It's all over. Um, you know, it's like bittersweet, right? I mean, I, I don't if you haven't been through it or if you're going through it, or if you went through it, you kind of uh, and you can probably relate a little bit. It's, it, you know, I was married for just about 18 years, a long, long time. And, and if you listen to the show for a while, it's been a long, long four or five years. It's been tough, but man, like it, it just, um, I never wanted to do it. I never want, and, and no matter how terrible things were, and then she filed divorce on me, which made it a lot easier for me. Um, and then now it's over and I, and I feel my life is in a completely different direction. I've had meet or have conversations with, um, Several people, actually, if you go back to the Adam Walton episode a few months, uh, two months ago, probably, we talked about that. It was like, I'm not trying to re, uh, I'm not trying to like, like have this old Jeremy version, just be a better Jeremy. This is a brand new Jeremy, brand new person, new goals, new insights, new perspective on life and new ways of how to get better and, and new ways to be consistent. And, and man, haven't been consistent with the podcast, but we're going to get back to that. I promise you that. Um, but man, yeah, I went through the divorce and uh, going through the the uh, mediation was just brutal, man. I've never felt so beat down in my entire life. And, and, and Hey, let's be real. It took me some time to get over that. Just the mediation itself. Like all these things are coming to an end. Uh, how did I get to this point? Where in my life and how did this all of a sudden decide or what decisions did I make in the past 10 years that have brought me to this point? And you do a lot of self-reflection as you're going through this. And there's a lot of things I need to work on. I mean, you know, hey, I, I'm, I, I've, uh, it, it's, it's, it's tough. Like, you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, this is, it's not anyone else's fault. It's my fault, right? And then I think that's the biggest thing is taking responsibility. And this goes for no matter where you are in your life, you take responsibility for where you are, no matter where you are, no matter if you're rich, poor, uh, do you, um, you know, where, where you are, what kind of job you got, what kind of relationship you have. It's all based on the decisions that you've made in your life. And you own that. There's a great, uh, uh, like a little clip for Jocko willing. If you haven't, if you don't know who Jocko is, but Jocko talks about uh, everything being good. No matter, so if this thing happens to you, good, it allows me to get better. Uh, if this happens to you, good, it allows me to get better at this. And really what I, the way I look at this perspective and, and this situation and this part of my life, like the, you know, if you haven't read my book, cheap plug, go get the positive side. Uh, book it's out on amazon you can find it anywhere well you can find it only on amazon but check it out it's cheap it's awesome uh talk about my life which you may or may not be interested in anyways but it's like a new chapter right it's like okay this chapter's over now now i got this new perspective and how am i going to use the things that i've learned in the past to get to the next level so again this pod this podcast is all about positivity and i really want to bring that but i just want to kind of give you an update of my life first of all life's all good it's all good in the hood, and I'm glad you're tuning in. I'm going to try and be more consistent. I know I've said that in the past. Overpromised, underdelivered, man, made my heart melt. I put that on the on the Facebook page. If you haven't been on there, um, you know, there's a, quite a few people that liked it, and and uh, man, people from all over the world and people I don't know personally. I mean, I you probably know me, listen to the show, but I don't know you. But man, that that like it gives me goosebumps. If you can see, my, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can't see my arms, but uh, it gives me goosebumps. Like it, man. It's like this is this is a mission. I got to continue this mission and continue to make the world a better place. So this is that positive side podcast is going to bring some motivation. Let's get into it. Um, five ways to how to keep a positive mindset. Number one, 
very easy. I mean, well, simple, not easy. Forget about today. Tomorrow's brand new. And, and man, you know, I, I love that. I just love, well, I love writing number one, writing it down when I'm writing it down. I'm like, man, I know it sounds so simple, but it's not easy, but I love it, man. No matter what happened today, no matter how bad it was today, how are you going to get your mindset? So when you wake up tomorrow morning, you don't take this bad attitude or this tough day into the next day. Cause the worst thing you can do. And I said this a million times on the show, what separates the best of the best is we all have bad days. The best of the best don't take one bad day and turn it into two bad days or three bad days or a bad week or a bad month or a bad six months or even a bad year. I mean, I know people after that have bad five years or 10 years. The best of the best allow that to be able to flip that switch and understand that I can't change what has happened today. Nothing I can do that do about that. But what I can do is control the controllables for tomorrow. I can control my attitude, control my mindset, can control my uh, diet, control my exercise, can control my alcohol intake. I can control all these things. Well, I can control the controllables. If I, if, so if that's reality in my head, today's over. I can get after tomorrow with the, with the right mindset and again, controlling the controllables. Number two, we love it. Phone a friend. And you, you guys remember that, that show? It's probably, you know, if it's still on or not. The, uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even know the name of the show, but it's the one that you got to phone a friend. But man, how important is that to have that in your back pocket? And I think well, what happens in life is we, we have those people, but then, you know, our ego gets in the way. Our subconscious self starts talking to us. You don't need to call them on this situation. You don't want to bother them with this. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. No, you need to do that. And I expect the people that have me and that as that phone friend to call me and I'm going to pick up. I'm going to answer and you can go and vent it out. I love just saying, okay, hey, lay it on me. Lately, give, give me everything you got. And I have those friends as well. One of my friends is Jamie Langham. I can always do that with Jamie, no matter what's going on in my day. But the beautiful thing about that and how important that role is for you and, and your friend is you got to have perspective. You got to be re realistic too. You can't just say, oh, you know what? That's bullshit. You were right. This is, I mean, you can't do that. You have to be unbiased, but come from a place of love. If I'm, a, if I'm in the wrong, I want my friend Jamie to tell me I'm in the wrong. Because sometimes you can't even see it because you're so blinded by either fear, anger, or, or disappointment, and you can't even see the other side of that. Sometimes it takes that friend to get you over that. But also that sometimes when you do have a bad day, it may not be your fault. It's nice to have that person that can encourage you to make you feel better. And that could be a mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, cousin, someone across the country. Hell, it could even be your damn dog or cat. But sometimes when you actually talk that out, and, and puke it all out. I love puking it out on paper sometimes. It makes you just feel better. It's like this burden that comes off your chest. You just feel more energized. You feel more energetic. You're ready to rock. Have that person phone a friend. Number three, now I know what you're thinking when I say this. I know what you're thinking. And I was, well, I was thinking the same thing when I wrote it. Netflix and chill. Number three, Netflix and chill. So yes, okay, yes. Uh, you can have a Netflix and chill partner. And, and believe me, that's not where I'm going. But believe me, that helps too with stress, right? I mean, when you're having a bad day and you want to keep that, that positive mindset, that helps. But that's not where I was going with this. <laughs> I'm going Netflix and chill just to like hit the reset button, do nothing. I love it with like today. Today, holy smokes, it was a long day, bunch of meetings, conflicts, struggling at work. We're not doing what we should be doing. We're not hitting the numbers that we're doing. What do you do, right? You, you come home. And for me, what I've really, really worked hard on doing is giving myself 5, 10, 15 minutes to do nothing. Chill out. I sit on the TV and I'm not even, it's, it's <laughs> I'll be watching something and not even paying attention to what's going on in my head. Like, well, not even watching the show and just completely zoning out, having no idea what is going on in the room. It's almost like my mind is just slowing down. We talk about like that fast heart rate when you're working out, you're jacked up all day, then you, and you slow down and you're like, Take a deep breath. It's the same thing with the mind. When you come home and you're stressed out, you're jacked up. And, you know, if you're married, if you got a girlfriend, boyfriend, hey, honey, give me a minute. Let me go unwind. Now, a lot of people do it. And I do this sometimes as well. When you come home from work, maybe not, you don't have that opportunity. You walk in the door and kids are jumping on you. A time from when you leave work to the time you get home, you shut the radio off in your car. You just cruise in dead silence. The phone rings, don't answer it. Just roll and let, allow your mind to process the day. And I promise you, you'll have a different perspective. So yes, Netflix and chill, <laughs> double meaning. Uh, but the second meaning is the one I was really intentional about. Number four, man, motivation, motivation, motivation. Motivation, motivation, motivation. I can't say it enough times. Motivation. So what does that mean, Jeremy? Okay, I get motivation. 
watch something, watch a podcast or listen to a podcast or watch a podcast, uh, get on YouTube, watch a motivational video, um, listen to well, read a, a motivational book, do anything that gets you jacked up every morning. It's like the mindsets, right? How do you start your day? How do you end your day? How do you book in your days every morning? I get ready in the morning. I got a TV in my room. I promise I don't watch it all night. Sometimes I do, but, <laughs> but I turn on YouTube and I'll watch my boy TD Jakes a lot. I watch Tony Robbins a lot. I watch, um, you know, just anything that I, I, it's kind of background noise sometimes, but I'm getting bits and pieces of, oh man, that's so good. Or, oh man, that's, that's such a great point. And then you leave the day when you walk out of the house with a different perspective. If you don't give yourself a chance for that, you may end up tr not, not intentionally, but carrying some of that negativity over from the previous day. The way to stay positive is motivation, motivation, motivation. Listen to something positive in the morning. Turn a pot. Man, I, I double it up sometimes. I'll have my boy TD Jakes in the bedroom and I'll have a podcast in the bathroom while I'm getting ready. Like I get double whammy and then turn your car into a classroom on your way into work listen to something motivational, get pumped up, get jacked up, motivation, motivation, motivation. And number five, um, I get this question a lot. Again, I'm not breaking my arm, pat myself on the back. Jeremy, how do you do it? How do you stay so positive all the time? You're always in a good mood. You don't really get upset. How does that, how do you do that? And, you know, if you go back to a lot of some of the old podcasts, I had my boy Jesse Cole on, my boy Brandon Hanley on the show. It's been some time. We've talked about it. But within those shows, we've talked about a million times. It's perspective. I guess long story short, it's perspective. I have an attitude of gratitude that I really, really, uh, yeah, it gets tough sometimes. But that's one of the ways I stay motivated is I keep that attitude of gratitude. I keep perspective. I have, I mean, sure, my life could be a lot better. Sure, I could have a lot nicer house. Sure, I could have. You know, I mean, you name it, if you, you fill in the blank, a nicer car, a more money in the bank, um, whatever. But man, I gain perspective. I do have a roof over my house or, or yeah, on my house. I do have clothes to wear. I'm closing my back. I'm not in the war zone. I'm not in a third world country. I am so blessed. And, and I think, you know, when people say that, like, I, I mean that to my core, like, I am so blessed. And we lose that perspective over time. We take things for granted. We take, you know, a millionaire takes, uh, takes advantage or takes for granted their gigantic house. Someone that has a smaller house takes that for granted. We all do it. We all take things for granted. And yet we're so, so lucky and so blessed. We have our health. I mean, I had a friend pass away uh, 10 days ago. Man, it hurt. It crushed. Crushed me. You want perspective, man, how about that? Like you have a loved one pass away or someone that's on their deathbed, very, very sick. You don't think for a second they would change places with you if they could, man, like it's how much time do you have left on this, on this world? And do you want to spend the time being an asshole or being bummed out or being negative? Not me. And I'm sure as hell, not you King, keep perspective and keep that attitude of gratitude. Let's go through these real quick again. Five ways to keep a positive mindset. Number one, Forget about today. Yesterday is going to be uh, tomorrow is going to be way better. Number two, phone a friend. Mad love to my friend, Jamie C. Langham at yahoo.com. Email her. She's got a great podcast out as well. Netflix and chill. And uh, boy, isn't that the truth? I mean, you know, I've got someone on my mind. I love Netflix and chilling with, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I, that helps too. But really more importantly, it's slowing down. It's slowing down the time. It's, it's allowing your brain to reset. Number four, motivation, motivation, motivation. Number five, attitude of gratitude. Keep that perspective, the positive side podcast. Back and better than ever. Life is good. I mean, come on now. Life is good. We're going in the fall. I know you guys know how I get the cloudy weather and the cold is going to be cold as hell tomorrow. <laughs> but I can start my car in the morning, get it warmed up. I can wear extra clothes. And that way I don't get too cold. You know, it's attitude of gratitude. Keep those things in perspective, baby. Email me, jeremy at jeremytodd.com. You got questions, comments, concerns, or criticisms, share this episode. All the people, that, for the 14 people on YouTube that follow me, much love for following me. If you haven't, run over there and check it out. Share this episode, like the Facebook page, email me, all the good stuff. Leave those five-star reviews on iTunes, allows other people to find the show. I say it every single episode, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, what do I always say? <laughs> um, oh, I said... Um, what do I always say? I know you got greatness within. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> that's how long it's been since I've done this show. 
you've got greatness within like always this is the positive side 